Welcome to a day in the life of a student lab research assistant. Let's get the business started. Oh, hello. Well, we're just starting this vlog for the day, a day in the life of. This is awesome. Are you recording right now? Yes. Hello? <laughs> Hi, so that's my Men mentor. Mentor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mentor, cool, sure. PhD student. Yeah. Person extraordinaire. And like, what's the lab code about though? I gotta be in character, you know? Gotta be in character, we're doing research. So this is a coincidence that she just came by. But yes, uh, first order of business. Business. Yes. <laughs> Heading over to the View Beach for a picnic with the Free other. Food is uh, the life source of a PhD student, so. There you go. It is. So we're gonna head over there and see who else is there. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. All right. I guess we'll just look for our stuff then. I guess so. Yeah. What did you get? Or else I think we can just grab anything. I think I got a chimichurri roast beef. Mm. Good water. Good water. What's up, Evan? I'm good. I saw oh, you. Shit. I'm Hagida, so how are you doing? Hi, I'm Evan. Hi, I'm Iris. Oops. Are you friends with Chris? Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you dating? Yes. 100%. Oh, oh yeah, we're, we're, are we dating? <laughs> well, I was going to say, like. That would be very unprofessional of us. Unprofessional oh. for sure. Yeah. Oh. She's I'm my dating. mentor here. Yeah. yeah but, good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You, you look 20 when you're 25, 26. If you're, if you're saying, if you're saying, are you a Europe student, you're calling me 20 year old, right? <laughs> I think so. I like that. That's a compliment. <laughs> does she look 20? I think she does, right? I don't know. I don't get carded sometimes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good to know. Alright, I found a group of people I can ask some questions. Hi, hello everyone. Is everyone here in Europe? Yeah. Yes. Are you? Everyone? Yeah, too? Everyone. You want to take a picture? Yeah, picture. No. I wanted to see if I could ask you guys a question about your research. Oh, Just cool. yeah, okay. in front of the camera. Are you guys cool with that? Yeah. Cool. These guys, not this guy. All right. Awesome. All right. So I got a couple of people here back behind me who are all in Europe. So I got a quick question for all of you. So what's your name? Isabel. Isabel. So what does your day look like as a researcher? Um, usually I get on about 9 a.m. and I check my emails, respond to some stuff. Um, then I usually hop on a group meeting, check in with everyone, and respond to some more emails. And then I maybe complete an interview or something as part of the research. And then I have to transcribe the interview. And then I get ready for my next interview. Okay, cool. So you're doing humanities? Yeah, research? education. Okay, cool. Awesome. Sophie, how about you? Hi, I'm Sophie. I'm working in an engineering lab right now, so I also get in around 9, sit at my desk. Um, I have the background music of all the machines whirring. I'm doing a lot of coding right now, so it's a lot of little victories for myself, but no one really knows what's going on, so I'll just celebrate in my chair. That is quite thematic. <laughs> not knowing what to do or what you're doing. Um, so what are you doing software stuff or kind of a mix of everything? Yeah, so I'm doing a lot of software coding right now for the machines in the lab. Okay, awesome. Cool, how about you, man? What's your name? Uh, my name's Miguel. I'm working at the medical department and my day is typing code, having it run for two hours and then typing more code. 
just coating the entire day down. So can you share a little bit of what that coat does? Uh, it has to do with um, genome sequencing. So it's looking at proteins and mutations present in samples. Okay, cool. That's interesting, dude. How about you? Um, I work in a global health nutrition lab and my day is spent at home on my computer um, working on a questionnaire for the study and answering emails and fixing any problems with the questionnaire. Okay, cool. Awesome. What's your name again? Anna Lee. Anna Lee. Awesome. How about you? Hi, I'm Carly. I work in a skeletal biology lab and I've worked there for about a year and a half. So my UROP project, I kind of started a little bit early, but my typical day is I wake up around nine, take the shuttle to the lab, and then each day before I go into the lab, I plan out the experiments that I'm going to complete. So right now I'm doing a lot of PCR, um, cell culture, and I'm running a bunch of different experiments to test the effects of a certain protein on essentially bone cell growth. Um, so, yeah. That sounds very interesting. Cool. Awesome. Thank you so much. Awesome. And so does everyone need to wear a lab coat at all? Yeah. No? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Wait, what was the question? Do you have to wear a lab coat for Europe? Well, I mean, I'm not in Europe, so oh. I don't have to. Nice sticker. Thank you, right thank there. you. Right here. <laughs> You said yeah, no, you said no. I said yes. You said yes. Oh, you said yes. I sit at home in my computer <laughs> and I wear a lab coat. I feel like I'm, awesome. at, I'm in the lab. Cool. Yeah, me too. You too? All right. <laughs> all right, I'm done with all of the interviews. Now heading back to the lab here in photonics. I got a mask up. And no, realistically, I do not have to really wear a lab coat because I'm not working with any potentially dangerous chemicals that could, you know, hit my skin and whatnot. But because I am in the lab, I do have to wear long pants. But yeah, now we are in the office here in Photonics. And honestly, I don't know where these spots came from that are ugly AF, but probably from chemistry labs back in freshman year. All right, so for the past hour, I've been here sitting in the office looking at code and trying to understand what the heck is happening in the code and this is on matlab i know how to do matlab i was a ta for the class actually but there's still a lot of stuff that i do not understand primarily regarding conceptual things that involve what it's doing but that's still a work in progress over here I just pulled up this CAD assembly model just to show you guys something that I did at the start of the summer. And this is just a prototype chip holder for chips that we use here at the lab. And yeah, it's uh, quite complicated and it's stuff that I had to prototype at Epic. You can actually watch my last week of classes where I actually worked on a previous iteration of this chip holder at Epic, but I'm hungry right now and I'll tell you a little bit more about what I do here at the lab as I eat. All right. A bit underwhelming maybe, but we'll see if it's good. Anyways, back to lab stuff. I work at a lab called OCN, which stands for Optical Characterization and Nanophotonics. And it is Professor Selim Unglu's lab, who was my circuits professor last semester, I believe. And I actually started at this lab at the end of freshman year, or actually in the middle of the second semester of freshman year. So I've been here for around, 
a year and four months now. And it's been quite an experience so far, not gonna lie. A lot of the times, we undergrads do not know about what we're doing or what we're working with. And that's totally okay. When I first came in, like, I don't know what the heck is going on in the lab, but it's pretty cool. And over time, I was observing what my PhD students were working on, what they were doing, and because I didn't know anything, I asked a lot of questions and I had a lot of them answered. And I want to say that 50% of what we do is just trying to figure out what's going on. And it is intimidating sometimes to work with professors or people in general who know what they're doing because once you're in the lab, or at least for me, this was the case. I was like, I put this self expectation that I should know everything that's going on. I mean, you know, if I'm accepted into the lab, there's a reason I was accepted into the lab and I should get up to speed and know it all like instantly. And for a lot of people, they do feel that pressure and that pressure can sometimes be devastating. You don't feel like you fit in, you have imposter syndrome, whatever the case that may be, but that's just normal. You're inexperienced, I am inexperienced. What can we do other than that? All right, enough of me talking. Let's head back to work. Mission unsuccessful. We tried spotting. Yeah. Didn't turn out how we wanted it to, but that's how it goes. Mm -hmm. That is how it goes. We come back and try again. <laughs> yep. All right. So now I'm gonna go out now. Eris is also gonna head out. Yep. Play some tennis. Yep. That Let's sounds like go fun. Yeah. Yeah. Let's yes, get off the stress of our shoulders. Oh yeah. And well, what a good note, cause I'm also gonna go work out now. <laughs> Are you working out? Probably Esplanade. Nice. Yeah. All right, so I just got here to Esplanade and started working out. And while I work out, I will give my closing thoughts. Oh, it's like to be uh, an undergrad research assistant slash researcher. And I gotta say that it's very exhausting, at least mentally, because there's so much to learn, so much to get used to. But it's really rewarding. And even if you don't like being a researcher, hey, that's a good, lesson to learn because now you know not to waste time on being a researcher but other than that at least for me my experience it's been very fulfilling i am doing stuff that i did not expect to do but on the other hand i also get to do stuff that i want to do especially with manufacturing and getting very hands-on with stuff and a lot of your experience will be based on who your professor is and you know how chill they are. At least my professor, Professor Lu, it's super chill. Demanding when needed, but also very chill. And with that said, it's really flexible to be a researcher. And if you get the chance to, definitely go get it. All right, let me focus on working out.